guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. Uh, we're now going to be filling out this column here, which is the windward pressure at each floor. So, um, the first thing we're going to be doing is just inputting all the values we found, so all the constants. We had a density of, of 1.2, Ka, Kc, Kl, Kp were each one. CPE windward, so I've made a deno uh, denoted here that this is CPE for windward because in later on we're going to have CPE for leeward. So CPE for windward was 0.8 we found and the dynamic response factor was 1.05. Okay, so I just need to input all those values. So just to quickly recall the formula for pressure, it's written over here. 0.5 times density of air, V des theta squared, C fig, where C fig is all this, times C dynamic. So all we need to do is literally multiply everything together. So density, the pressure is 0 0.5 times by the density of air is down here. Now we need to make that with dollar signs um, because it is remaining constant. So dollar signs. We then need to multiply this by the design wind speed, V des theta. Now we're going to do that and we need to square it. And I'm not putting dollar signs because I'm going to drag this formula down and I want that to be changing. I'm just going to put that in brackets. Okay, times by C fig. Now C fig was um, K, K A K C K L K P C C P E wind. So let's just go that one which needs to be dollars times this one, which needs to also be dollars um, times by KL, which also needs to be dollars times by KP and times by that um, CPE times by C dynamic Okay, I just need to go put dollar signs in front of all of them because they're all remaining constant. 